All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. What the hell is up with freaking this DM being down? Like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and record uh, vitamin Y now. DM's down. DM's down. DM's down. Like, whoa, like, come on. I want to freaking record. You're making this very inconvenient for me. I can't record when I want to record. I have to wait to record. It's like, damn. It's like, DM, you're supposed to be available. Why are you always down? Why are you been down so much lately? <sighs> anyway, welcome back. We are using Supervise. I am still trying to work and get all and get the decks ready. I swear to God, I am. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm still thinking about going to the regional. Uh, still gonna probably take Evil Swarms. Yeah, I just feel like, kind of, I feel like Evil Swarms would be the better deck to take. I'm gonna drop you Bell and drop Doom Shaman because I have Oasis. Should I set the space now? Nah. If he wants to blind, if he wants to blind space, a blind space my Oasis. I've enchanted Summon Terror. Don't blind space my space. So. You know, as of late, I have not been setting MST. I've been holding on to it, you know. I'd rather be the one to blind space and you blind space my blind space and then I chain but have nothing to pop, you know. So I'd rather just hold it into my hand, you know. Hopefully it doesn't backfire like it clearly is right now. Thank God I went first and got my shit in before we fight. Well, I had MST, but like I said, whenever I duel against a deck that runs d Fisher, they always get d Fisher first turn. Always on here. Always. It's ridiculous. Like, whoa, okay. So now I guess I should have said the MST because now if he, you know, does MST, well, he should, I mean, if he's going to MST, he would have MST before he activated the division. No, because maybe he wants to banish my shit. I don't know. But, yeah, you know, if he goes MST and I go chain, I can summon you battle. Yes, you battle get destroyed, but you get banished. So I'd pretty much be no more you battle for the rest of the duel. No, I, I still get the tear, which is totally fine. No effect. Watch him be like effect, like no effect. Okay, good. Um, that's level three. It's level three. Hello. <coughs> level three. <laughs> yeah, I can put that back into attack position. Draw. Alright, oh, this is fun. I'll definitely, first things first, get rid of that fucking defager. That, that's that's our main priority. Right now, I don't really care about this, because I'm about to make a level level train anyway, so. Relay these two into la va -va chain. Your effect, detach, and go ahead and drop me Tinker. Definitely down on resources, though. Suck. I'm gonna rank down a level. So. Now, if you got an Honest in that hand, then fuck me. But if you don't, then I'll be okay. And I'll still be okay as long as it's Oasis. As long as it doesn't play any background on me, I'll still be okay because I can still go activate Oasis, Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, Summon. You know, Tinker and Bell go for a Terror, go first in Kate, so I should still be okay. And I'm, so I'm working on the Evil Swarm deck. I'm just like trying to be the douchiest douche in all of Douchington. I'm worried about the consistency of the deck though. What happened to you, monster? Why did you turn your monster to that? What? Level? What? What? Why did you turn your monster into that? One. Return your monster to the field. Return your monster to the field. Return it to the field. That's not its effect! No. No, that's not its effect. Effect. Read. No. Return that shit to the field. I don't even know why you put it on top of that. Okay. Two. The Volvo is a rank, not a level. Oh my god. It's an XC monster. So, 
Like I said, the vault will train, attack, and kill your monster. Holy shit. It's not a level, it's a rank. It's been like this ever since Xyz came out. It's not like Xyz are brand new. Thank you. Go. Oh my god, you got you guys do not know. I am not under do not disturb on Skype. So they keep popping up. You might just, like kind of see it in this corner over here. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Friends are messaging me. I could probably edit out the sound. It's probably as like secondary audio, but so you guys probably won't hear it. But it's like bloop 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 bloop. It's like oh my god, I'm so unprofessional. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's fine. Going on defensive. That is totally fine. What else? I'm working on Red Eyes Bell. That deck is difficult. I promise Red Eyes is inconsistent. You know. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I want to do with it. And God, it's just looking at this. Thing. I'm thinking about just cutting out, you know, the Limit Versus in general. And then just going to Doom Shaman route, you know, because right now it seems like what I want to do is summon, um, you know, Red Eyes more often, you know, that's what it seems like I want to do. So, you know, using cards like Swing and stuff like that to go into the Xe with Terror. So I was thinking about throwing Doom Shaman in and then using like, you know, Swings and Silent Dooms to go into Terror, but not running Tinker, because then it would just be this deck, and I don't want that, so... You know, it's okay if you deck share cards, but, you know, don't share themes too much. Because if I throw Doom Shaman Tinker, then it's just a new... It wouldn't be a Red Eyes Bell deck. It would be a new engine of, uh... Of, uh... Of, uh... Ebel... Of Supervice. So, that's not what I want. So, working on that. Trying to figure out, you know, the ratio with how many Red Eyes, with how many Flares, with... You know, with the draw cards. You know, should I run the draw cards? Should I not run the draw cards? It's, it's, it's a difficult thing right now. It is a difficult fucking deck, I must say. You know, and and I want to get it right. I definitely I want to get the deck right. but And uh, eventually get it on here. But at least I'm not too rushed. Now, the thing I'm, I'm thinking right now is should I, you know, overextend and do any plays? Should I, you know, activate Silent Doom, Doom, Shaman, some Tinker? I can go for deals. And then next turn I can go for a trap. Yeah, I'll do that now. Plus I get to see the next card I activate. So... Activate Silent Dooms, my normal monster. Uh, of course, it will be Doom Shaman, because he's a normal monster in the grave. I'll use my normal summon for effect. Effect. Go ahead and. It is a Gemini. It's a Gemini. This card is a normal monster. I face up on the field or in the graveyard. Is a normal monster. And I use my normal summon. You can use your normal summon to have it treated as an effect monster with this effect. So, effect. Summon Tinker. <sighs> Sync it up. Go into, I could go into hot actually, but now nah, I'm gonna go into deals and then I'll pop with scrap. Next time. Tinker effect. See the top card. Do I want an MST? You know what? I'll take that MST, because now I can just MST it, and then I can go for Void instead. Yeah, that seems like a totally fine idea. You guys know how much I like Void Ogre Dragon. Alright, let's destroy. Well, it's supposed to, it resolves in the graveyard, so it's supposed to be in the graveyard first, but okay. No, Bills is stuck in defense mode, but hey, Bills is powerful defense mode. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is him going to like Castell and putting this back and then running this over, so I'd be like super bit down, but maybe I'm giving him more credit than he deserves. This opponent seem, doesn't seem like the brightest. And the sharpest tool in the shed. not seem like the sharpest tool in the shed. You know, if, if, if I were him, if I was using his crappy deck, I thought I'd do it. Just summon another level 4, XC, cast out, spin that back, run that level, level chain over.
Mm, maybe I will go for Scrap Dragon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Scrap Dragon. Yep, Scrap Dragon seems like the card to go to. The best time to go into a Scrap Dragon is all the time. No, <laughs> not all the time. This is. Yeah. Right. Normal summon for effect. Effect. Go ahead and summon Tinker. Actually, you know what? Do I want to summon Tinker? I could summon Terror, actually. You know what? No. I want summon Terror. I want summon you, Bell. Summon you, Bell. I will summon you, Bell. <laughs> then, uh, there's no point in allowing him to deck then. So, yep, I just end my turn. Bell effect. Chibi Dim Shaman. Shaman effect. You bell effect. Summon Terror. Terror effect. Sure, monsters, please. So, I'm. Um, hey, I don't got any more cards, but hey, I got the Terror Bills combo, which is a very powerful combo. Probably the most powerful combo Supervise has. It used to be a Scrap Ultimate Nightmare combo ever since Bills came out. It's like, why, you know, summon Scrap, pop Terror to summon Ultimate Nightmare, and I could just sit on all Terror, which is arguably the most powerful form of Bell, with the Bills. Destroy your monsters, destroy your monsters. Destroy your monsters. Thank you. Wow, you set the honest. You're crazy. <laughs> Stop everybody getting greedy with honest. Like, I get it, that too, but, you know, still use them wisely. Sure. Still don't like that card. Cause you zero, you let your opponent draw. Like you let me plus. Just start doing damage to you next turn. Like fine, fine. That is that is the one day peef. If I ever see annoyed, you know this card is just super sacky. You know it's interesting that this card's still at one. Cause when you look at it at first face value, it's not a good card. It's actually a bad card. But when you start putting it in like the hands of sacky decks, like okay, now I see it. It was like gishkies and shit. They like one day piece you and then fucking just deck you out. Like yeah, you know, I mean I'm not gonna do anything with you. I'm just gonna fucking make you deck out. So, but that card was shitty. Sh 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 I, I wanted to say shitty and sacky at the same time. It was just mm. it breaks rule number one and, and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys know what that is? Rule number one: never let your opponent draw. Rule number two: never let your opponent draw. No, that's the, there's a reason why Dark Bribe's not being played. There's a reason. <laughs> that's my guys in my graveyard. That's fun. Uh Just wanted, to, just wanted to show you that. What I get. I got this. Yeah. Just this. Just foolish. <sighs> nah, I'm cool. I'm still gonna come after you and eat you, though. Even though I can't do any damage to you. I'm gonna kill your monster. Attack. Back. Monster's destroyed. You don't take any damage though, which is still destroyed. Okay. No, you don't take damage. 
Und da. And so that, 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 that's just a game mechanic. Wouldn't he lose 300 life points? Oh, right, the level chain killing his, uh, this guy. Let's say, that first blood that I've done, maybe? And then I took 100 damage from what? Him killing my Armageddon Knight with his warrior guy. That's right, but this card says, this card destroyed the Pokemon from a battle sent to the graveyard, but normally they didn't go to the graveyard because it was banished. That's right, that's right. Dark hole. Okay. I said disruptions are super prominent now. So I, I want to go ahead and discuss how this game. I win. All right. Uh, it's gonna be a short video anyway. I don't got time for another duel. I said I could have had more time, but now I don't because fucking Dn was down all day. So we'll just wrap this up with this awesomeness. The, the reason why Sea Vice is such a fun and powerful deck, Kofi Bell, and in my opinion, the strongest and most inco and most consistent. Uh, uh, excuse me, because I can go into triple beals. You want you want to go into triple beals? Uh, Sea Vice effect, chain tinker. Do I want to miss you right now? Not really. And some gem showing. Here's my normal. Summoning for fact. Fact is a reason. <sighs> Shaman is still a normal monster. <laughs> Doom Shaman is a normal monster. Doom Shaman is a normal monster. Monster in grave. <laughs> Like, did you forget? I thought we were, I thought we went over this. Doom Shaman is a normal monster in grave. After I synchro summon, as soon as he hits the grave, he's a normal monster again. He loses his effect. <laughs> like, it's been established. It, it says it right there. First sentence of the card. No matter what. Okay. No, no matter fucking what. Doom Shaman is always a normal monster in the grave. It doesn't matter if he had an effect and he hit the graveyard. And he's back to being a normal monster. So then... Supervise allows me to target that normal monster that just got sent. Therefore, summoning back Doom Shaman again. Then if I have another Supervise, I can do it again. I can do it again. I can do it again. You know. And I was going to get some more Supervises, too. Damn, look at that. Look at that. Is that, is that scary? Two Supervises to the silent Doom in my next three turns. Like, oh, damn. Whew. Bitch, you guessed it. I guess I could have summoned you, Bell. No, I was going to go for again. So, you know, summon... Go for, I guess, a third bills, because why the fuck not? <laughs> but now I could have summoned it and had two bills in the pair. Not bad. <sighs> that man, trying to argue with me about everything. Like, I don't know why people think I gotta cheat them to beat them. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm and Why. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using uh, Labrador email? Yeah. Alright, people, thanks for watching.